And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. Okay, let's go to New Mexico and take a call from Todd. And then Jan will take your calls at 888-227-2546. Todd, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Thank you, Bobby. I like your show. I thank you. I appreciate your comments. Okay. Um, what I've got, I've got a uh, 1995 uh, Caprice Classic. On the title, it says Slash SS. Right. In Paul. Uh, what, I've, I've never heard of that before. And, and it's got uh, 50,000 miles on it. Right. Uh, I wanted to know, I, I would like to get in and go across country. But I wanted to know what would I, what should I check on the engine? Well, that's a great question. That is, uh, let me tell you what we do. And 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 Todd, most shops. So what 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 you're asking for is, let's just say that you you're you're at our service bay on the Gulf Coast and not in Mexico, and and you come in and you say, I'm I'm going to take my family uh, to Grandma's for Thanksgiving. I'm going to take my, uh, uh, do a, over the holidays, a Christmas holidays, I'm going to take a road trip, or I'm just going to take a road trip, period. Well, you know, would you check my car over for the road? If you take your car in to any independent or chain store or dealership and say, check it for the road, what do they check? What should they check? And how do you know whether or not you're going to break down on the highway? To get to point A to point B is fine, but you got to get from B back to A if you're going round trip. And so uh, that's a really good question. Here's what we do, and I have a couple of answers. And folks, for those of you who are tuned in, it's important. Uh, Bob TLC, uh, I was privileged to, to give this presentation yesterday at the Naval Air Station. Uh, to uh, some of our military and uh, and government uh, uh, employees, and uh, the Bob stands for battery. If your battery is three years old, uh, have it serviced. If it's four years old, you're on the the cusp of its age, and if it's five years old, you need to replace the battery. And 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 Todd, this is for you and everyone. You need to replace the battery even if it's still working because then it's your option. It doesn't put you down in the middle of nowhere and, and you come out after a break and and then, and then what do you do? So uh, uh, three years, have it uh, serviced, have it inspected every year. Uh, and that's for the battery, and that's the B in Bob TLC. The O is for oil. Use the lightest viscosity recommended by the car maker year-round because light viscosity, 5W30 versus 10W30 or 0 30. Uh, you see, the 0, the 5, the 10 is just the cold cranking viscosity of the oil. All of those 5 zeros or 10 30s are 30 viscosity, 30 weight oil, as we say, at operating temperature. So the skinny oil, that low number, the first number represents how well that oil flows when the engine is cold. So that's what you want to do. That's what the O stands for in Bob TLC oil. The uh, second B is for belts. Many things on a car, Todd, you cannot inspect you can't inspect the inside of a transmission or the differential and, and you can't and the engine without taking apart, but you can the belt or the belts. And the way you do that is you take between the thumb and forefinger and you turn the belt, engine off of course, you turn the belt and look for cracks on the backside of the belt. And depending on how many cracks you see and per inch will give you uh, whether or not that belt needs to be replaced. And I can tell you there's two ways you can put a belt. You can put a belt on the car before it breaks, or you can wait till you get towed in when the belt is broken on the back of a hook, uh, a, a, a tow, and you don't want that to happen. So that, that's four or five years uh, typically for a belt. And so that's the Bob in Bob TLC. T is for tires, tire pressure, tire pressure. You hear that all the time. It means a lot. Too much pressure pushes the center of the tire out and wears the center of the tire. Not enough pressure lets the like shoulders, if you, if you hold your shoulders forward and lean in, you don't want to do that. Stand up straight. Well, if you run a tire with too less uh, low pressure, both the inner and outer tread wear. The, and you don't get the patch. You don't get all of the tread down on, on, the, on the pavement. So tire pressure is common. 
uh, commonly ignored. The tire pressure you should run depends on what the manufacturers say on the door decal, the car decal, not the side wall of the tire. That's a manufacturer uh, department of transportation code. So that is the, in Bob TLC, that's the T for tires, tire pressure, alignment, no sorts of things. And then the L stands for lights. And the lights are to be seen and to be safe. So you have to see and be seen. And just as an FYI, Sylvania Silver Star Ultra headlight bulbs are a fantastic replacement for old bulbs that dim over time. And all headlight bulbs dim over time. So I recommend them. I use them. Both our team service managers have the Silver Stars in their vehicle. They're 50% brighter and down the road, shinier, and 40% for the side. And then the C stands for coolant, and that's the Bob TLC. And the coolant should be serviced every two years, 30,000 miles. If you've got 50,000 miles or even 5,000 miles and your car is five years old, you need to change the coolant. And last but not least, Todd, specifically for you, I recommend you take your car to an independent service shop and ask them to perform a pre-purchase vehicle inspection on your car. That means the technician will put a different mindset and the technician will say, okay, this is not Todd's car. He's thinking about buying this car. And a technician takes on a complete ownership when we check a car for a pre-purchase vehicle inspection. It is a performance service that we do that saves a lot of people a lot of money.